Hello, good evening, class. Hello. <clears throat> Good evening, teacher. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello, guys. Good evening, teacher. Hello, sir. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Good evening. Okay, let's see who else do we have here. Uh, let me check. We just have 11 participants, so happy with the rest. Uh, Janet, hello, Janet. Welcome. Karen, Maria Santos, hello. Hello, Sana. Hello, Roberto. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Jenny. Welcome, guys. Okay, uh, we're going to start with our session number three. It's a pleasure uh, to be here with you, guys. Um, my name is Arely Ramirez, and I'm going to be with you. I hope that we can well, get along soon, right? <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Uh, let me start. Uh, let me start uh, sharing my screen, and then we start soon. Okay. Hello, good evening. Okay, so here we have, uh, guys, our objective for this session. And let's see, I need a volunteer. Who can read me? Who can help me reading this, please? Let's see, anybody? Uh, how about you, Edgar? Hello, Edgar. C could you help us, please? Yes, yeah, uh, I glad to meet you. Can you read the class objective, please? Okay. Yeah. Uh, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to provide some examples using passive voice forms. Okay, so uh, as far as I know, you have been working and talking about passive voice, right? And we're going to start checking. So what do you know about this? So let's see, what do we have? So at the end, we're going to be talking basically about the present tense using passive voice. And but we're gonna be checking some more tenses, okay? So first of all, uh, we're gonna check some uh, important details about the passive voice. Let's see, we have the first one. We use the passive voice volunteer. So when do we use the passive voice? Okay, this is just a summary, okay? Um, Elisa, Arely, Elisa, Arely, hello. Can you active active your microphones, please, guys? Elisa, Arely, let us know if you are uh, if you cannot activate your microphone. Avísenme si no puede activar su micrófono o si no han llegado a casita todavía. Please. Let's see. Janet. Hello, Janet. Carolina. Activate your microphones, please. Okay, so we have Jose. Jose, please help us. I think you're uh, you're available. Help us reading the first uh, part. We use the passive voice when. Okay. Uh -huh. We use the passive voice when we don't know who did the action or the action itself in more important. Uh -huh. It's more important. Okay, so there is a grammar mistake, right? Okay, so remember, this is important. We use the passive voice when we don't know who did the action or the action itself is more important. So, so that's not important, right, the subject. Let's see the second part. Can you help us, Karen Elizabeth? Please help us. Second, second chart, this one. We can only. Okay. We can only for uh, passive sentences from an activity. 
active sentence when there is an object in the activity sentences. Okay, so that's very interesting, right? So remember, we create a passive se a sentence from an active. So it means that in our active sentence, so you must have a subject, a verb, and an object, right? Let's see, uh, number three, chart three, um, help us, please. Let me see, Maria Santos. Maria Santos, hello. Hello, Maria. Are you shy today? Está un poquito tímido, joven. ¿Qué les ha pasado? <laughs> okay, let's see. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. ¿Quién? Um, okay, let's see. Vale, sí, Okay, no ah, problema de conexión. Yo hablé, pero estaba levantada y no pude llegar a tiempo. Okay, don't worry, Lisa. It's okay. eh, es el number three, ¿verdad? Yes, please. Right. The passive voice is less usual than the active voice, but sometimes a statement in passive is more polite than in active voice. Okay, so that's very interesting, right? The passive voice is less usual, right? So that's not really common than the active voice, but sometimes a statement in passive is more polite than in active voice, right? <laughs> okay, and the last one, please um, help us with that one. Roberto, Roberto Eduardo, the passive is formed. Yes, yes, teacher. Uh, the passive is formed with the verb to be, and the past part cyclic part, participle 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 of the main verb. Okay, so now we have studied some theory, right? So now let's look at the structure. So remember, we need a verb to be, and we need uh, the participle uh, past participle forms of the verbs, right? So it's key. Uh, for you to learn and memorize, right? And of course, the verbs. And um, let's have a look at some uh, structures. Uh, I'm going to show these structures, but we're focusing in today's lesson um, in the simple uh, present passive form. Okay, Oscar Alexander Santana, thank you so much. Okay, so let's look at the structure. Look at this. We have verb to be in the simple present ten, tense, am, um, is, and are, plus a participle form, right? The example. Let's see the example. Volunteer. Vamos a ver quién nos ayuda ahí con el ejemplo. Karen, the office. Excuse me, teacher. I don't listen. Ah, can you can you read this sentence, please? The office. Okay. The office is cleaning every day. Okay. The office is cleaned, cleaned every day. Okay. Cleaned. So if you notice, we have bird to be and we have a participle form, right? Entonces, ustedes notan, aquí tenemos la forma. El verbo to be en una oración en presente simple, pasiva. ¿verdad? The office is cleaned every day. So let's see, how about a passive voice in the past simple? Ya hay de una oración uh, pasiva en el pasado simple, veamos. Uh, volunteer. So what, what form of verb to be do we use? O sea, ¿qué forma del to be usamos ahí? Tell us. Cuéntenos, chicos. Look at this. So what is the form? ¿Cuál es la forma ahí? Look at that, guys. Uh, was and were, right? Plus the past participle. Very simple. Let's see. Um, uh, I don't know who's here. Activate your cameras, please. So I really, uh, I will appreciate that, okay? Let's see. Um, anybody else? Me teacher. Let me see. Okay, Karen, thank you so much. Can you read the example, please? Example is uh, the office was at five o'clock. Okay, very simple, right? Past uh, form of verb to be, was, and were, plus a past participle. Okay, and let's see, we have another tense. We have a present perfect passive form. Okay, let's see, uh, Sara, Elisa, could you help us please? The office has. The office has already been cleaned. Okay, perfect. 
So notice, uh, since you have a present perfect tense, it means that you have to use the verb have or has been depending on the subject, right? Plus a past participle and besides that, we have to add been, right? The office has already been the form of, for verb to be, right? Being cleaned. So that's a present perfect statement. And we have some passive forms using future simple. Let's see, um, help us with this one. Wendy or Jenny, let me know if you cannot answer right now. Me avisan chicos ahí si ustedes todavía van de camino a casa o avísenme cuando ya estén acá. Okay, let's see, volunteer for the last one. Volunteer. Me? Okay, Michelle, go ahead. The office will be cleaned tonight. Okay, the office will be cleaned tonight. Okay, so what happened with the future passive form? So we have to add will, will, right? Plus be, plus the past participle. The office will be cleaned tonight. And there you have the structure, right? So remember, in order to uh, create a passive form, we need an active sentence. So it means a subject, a verb, and an object. Passive form, you have a subject, um, you have a verb, and you have an agent. Picasso painted Wernica. Wernica was painted by Picasso. Okay. So this is just a summary of what uh, you have been studying. And let's see, we have uh, some more examples. Okay, well, we have some um, important information about it. Let's say um, volunteer for the first part. Passive voice is used when? Me teacher. Okay, Marlene, thank you. Passive voice is used when the agent door of an action is obvious, unknown, or unnecessary. Oh, can no. you read? Uh -huh. Read example, please. Orange are grown, grown in California. Okay. So if you notice, in this case, uh, the doer of an action, it means the subject is obvious, right? So, or a nun, or that's not necessary, right? And um, in these cases, we use a passive form. And um, the doer of an action, that's not important as we mentioned before. Let's see a second part, volunteer. See, volunteer, Karen, second part. Passive voice is used when the agent is now, but the speaker, right, right, writer, uh -huh. writer does does not want to mention it. Okay, excellent. So notice this passive voice is used, 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 used. Listen, used, used. 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 Excellent, that's better. Passive voice is used when the agent is known. Okay, so we know about the subject, but we don't want to mention, right? <laughs> so that's not important, again. <laughs> okay, could you read the example? He was given bad advice. Mm, okay, she was given bad advice. So we know, we know who uh, gave someone a bad advice, right? But um, we don't want to mention that name. <laughs> Let's see, number three, volunteer. Can I? Yes, of course, ben Benjamin. Passive voice is often used when the agent is very general, such as people or somebody. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this example is really clear. So look at this. Uh, it's often used when the agent is very general, such as people or somebody. English is spoken here. Okay, so that's none, that's general. Okay, nothing else to say about it. And let's see, uh, for volunteer, for. Hey, teacher. 
Ah, Jose, go ahead. Yes. Passive voice is used, used. when the used when the speaker writer wants to emphasize emphasize, emphasize. emphasize. A result or emphasize the receiver of the action instead of the performer. Okay. 7,000. People were killed by the earthquake. Earthquake? Earthquake. 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 Okay, okay, thank you. And, uh, well, one of the most uh, known uh, uses of a passive voice is to emphasize the result or emphasize the receiver of the action instead of the performance, as we have been um, mentioning, right? 7,000 people were killed by the earthquake. So the most important information in here is the object. How many people uh, were killed? 7,000, right? Okay. So that's uh, more important, right? When we want to emphasize that, when we want to emphasize the result, right? Uh, rather than the subject, right? We want to emphasize the object, okay? Let's see. Okay, so what do you know about the passive voice? We're gonna check some um, interesting sentence and you're going to uh, tell me, well, you're going to play that of course. I'm gonna send you the link so you can access to that. So just give me a couple of seconds and we're done, okay? Let me see. Have you ever played Kahoot? Yes, I guess so. <laughs> yes? Yeah, well, Kahoot. Yes, no. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> no. No, yeah. not yet. Okay, yes. so this is going to be your first time, so try to do your best. Okay, si tiene mala conexión, si no se lo recomiendo, lo podemos ir haciendo acá en la pantalla, porque si lo va a sacar de Zoom. Pero quienes ya tienen hay experiencia jugándolo, no hay problema. Pueden ingresar y ustedes ya saben la mecánica. Bien, vamos a ver. Ahí les envío el enlace. So, open the link. Access to that link. And then we're ready to play. So we're gonna observe, let me see, okay. okay maybe I just need a couple of seconds. Okay, let me see. Don't worry, we're almost ready. Okay. No, it's charging. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna send you the link again. So I think it was the wrong link. Okay, so could you open the second link, please? The second one, okay? Second one. Or you can uh, access to Kahoot, www.kahoot.it, and you are uh, and you uh, enter this um code, okay? The game PIN. Excellent, Selma, Sara, Yvette, Michelle, good job. Okay. Keep it up. Let's see, we need some more. What happened with the rest? Wendy, excellent. <laughs> nice glasses, sunglasses, Sara. <laughs> Michelle is getting ready with her. <laughs> I have problems. 
Mm, okay, don't access the, to the link if you have uh, problems with your internet connection, okay? Because so you're going to... Uh-huh. You're going to... Possible my, my PC. Mm, okay. Uh, you should check the internet connection. It may be. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start... Mm -hmm. But but you're going to help me. So you can give me the answers through the chat, okay? No, then give the, the answers to them, okay? <laughs> they need to play. So as you know, you have to select the correct color of the correct answer, yes? Recuerden, tienen que elegir el color correcto de la respuesta correcta. Okay. Oh, hold on. I made a mistake. It was not the other one. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, uh, it's not the one. So it was. Let me see. Okay. Hmm, again, I think it was the wrong link. Let me check the next one. Yes, um, hold on, give me one second, I need to check it. Oh, yes, no, that's not the one that we need. Hold on, let me look for one. Okay. Sorry, guys, that's my bad. Okay, no, I'm having some problems with this. So, but we have a second tool, don't worry. Okay, so we'll fix that in a moment. <laughs> so we cannot afford paying code. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna share a second link. Sorry about that. Um, that was not planned, but we're gonna uh, play the second activity. Okay, so I got it. Okay. Okay, so there you have the link, but in this case, you uh, you just have to select the right answer as uh, mentioned before you access to the link back again. Okay, so what do you think about this sentence? The smartphone, any idea? Hmm, yeah. so we have to, yes. was invented was invented okay by apple apple are you sure <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> nokia ibm anybody else who has a similar answer? For me, it's Apple, teacher. For you, it's Apple. Okay. Yeah. So we it's got two. Down. Anybody else? <laughs> Nokia? No. It disappeared. Uh oh. Oops. <laughs> it was IBM. Yeah. Yeah. So do, you, do you know that? No. Hey, excellent, Jenny. She knows about it, okay? I'm sorry, Jenny. We didn't read your answer on time. Okay, the Lord of the Rings. Hmm. 
This is a pass a uh, passive form. Uh -huh. The Lord of the Rings films. Was directed. Uh huh. Was directed by excellent Jenny Spielberg. By Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. Are you sure? Is that your final answer, guys? Let us see. Yes. Let us see. Peter Jackson. Okay. So we have a different answer. How about the letter A? You the think A. a. So we got like three answers. Let's see. <laughs> Who said C? Who said Peter Jackson? Wow. Just one. Who who said it? Okay. The book which uh-huh. Was what is uh -huh. so, was? So, what is the participle so, form for steel? So, the Bible. <clears throat> uh-huh. The Bible. The Bible. The Bible which Okay, what's the participle form for the verb steal? So, mm -hmm. For me, the body. <laughs> uh -huh. The participle form. Stol mm. Stolen. Stolen, yes, right. Okay. The book, which was stolen most often from libraries is yes the bible the guinness book of records the lord of the rings the bible the bible okay no let's see okay i didn't have an idea about it okay in the word how do you read that number in the word 16,000. Okay, 16,000. Babies. Born. <clears throat> oh, okay. Are you sure? Was born. born every hour. Oh. In the word, 16,000 babies were born. And mm. Okay, but look at the expression. Every day, every hour, every second. So it means every second. Every second. Every hour. Every second. No, every hour. Every hour, teacher. Every mm -hmm. hour. Okay. So, but yeah. that's that's a present passive verb, right? Okay. Chess. Chess was invented by. Do you know that chess was invented by? Uh-huh. The Chinese. Yeah. Uh, the Chinese. Yes. The Indians. <laughs> the Mayas. The Cholotecas. I don't know. The Egyptians. <laughs> Salvadorans. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Definitely not, not right. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. What's your answer? The Chinese. The Chinese. Okay. Well done. Yeah. Finally, we got one. <laughs> okay, the first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, yeah, like two, right? The first Levy James. Mm, oh. Okay, so this is history. Winners. Mm -hmm. But can you read the full sentence? The first Levy James word. 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 Well, what is the participle form for word? Participle form? Or word. 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 Yes. Word. Is it word. correct? Yes, right. Uh -huh. Miners, farmers, or cowboys? What do you think? Cowboys. Cowboys. Miners. I think that's because you like the word, but. <laughs> uh huh. A, B, or C? Leave us your answers. Cowboys, yeah. Oscar. Yeah. Google it. Google it. A. 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 For me, there is 
Okay, let's see. So we I need one more uh, opinion. A, B, or C? That's A, B. <laughs> That's A, B. <laughs> Let's see, we have one more A. Okay, Jenny. Excellent. Oh my God. Okay, no. about this one football was first played. Okay, was first played by, 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 by the Greeks. The, the British. The British, the Romans, the Greeks. The British. The British. The British. Okay, so I'm going to trust. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Let's see. How about this one? In 1962, the original London Bridge. The original London Bridge. Was both. Was both. Well, okay. Um, By a rich American, um, a museum of the royal family. A museum. A museum. A museum. Are you sure? A so, rich American. Oh, but... Letter A. <laughs> Letter A. A. The Jenny says A. Mm -hmm. A. A museum. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, oh <laughs> okay. So imagine, imagine buying. Uh, let's see, any bridge that we have in El Salvador. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Imagine if you're rich, you can buy a bridge here in El Salvador. So why spend the money uh, abroad? <laughs> imagine. Okay. okay. Until letter A. Letter A. New Amsterdam, New Hans Fine. Uh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. New Liberty. New Liberty. Okay. New York. And then the Salvador Libertam. So what do you think about? Until eighteen thousand, New York. Was called. Was called. New Hampshire. New Amsterdam. Letter A. Letter A. Have you been to New York? Letter A. Uh, not really. <laughs> not really, um, but we. Letter C. So. But I wish. <laughs> yeah, I wish I'm letter B. Really did. <laughs> A or C? Letter A. 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 New Amsterdam. A. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Okay, the Star Wars. Do you like that movie? Well, that Star movie. Wars films no. Was directed by. Films. Uh huh. Was directed by. Steven George Spielberg. Lucas, Steven oh. Spielberg, Stanley Kubrick. Yes. No. A. <laughs> so I think you don't like movies, right? So letter A. Letter A. George, George Lucas. Uh -huh. George, George Lucas. Lucas. Okay. No. Okay. George Lucas. <clears throat> the noun which, okay, the noun which most frequently in conversation is. The noun which was used most uh -huh, the word in which is used most uh -huh. frequently. The noun which is used most frequently in conversations is in conversation is uh -huh. work, money, time, or money. work. Money. 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 Hmm. Are you sure? Work. 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 Okay. Any uh, any other opinion? No. Okay. Jenny says time. Time. Okay. So only one uh thinks. Okay. Just Jenny said it's time. Okay. 
So let's see. Let's see. Jenny, you are right back again. Excellent. Okay. Excellent, Jenny. Yeah, she's doing great. Penguins. Uh huh. Penguins. Was found. Mm, no. Penguins. Where found? Mm -mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Think about it. Think about it. So when when where can I find where can I find a penguin? <laughs> Penguins no, are, oh, are, are uh, in Alaska. Penguins are found a, letter A in, at the South Pole. At the South Pole in the North a. Pole in Alaska. What teacher, sorry. Teacher, a. sorry. Yes. Penguins are found. Asian. Yes, are found. Mm -hmm. So where can you find a penguin? Letter A. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Well, it can also be possible, right? If we think about history, uh, where did they first find the penguin? <laughs> okay. Okay. The Italian flag was designed. Was designed. Designed. Was designed. Nine. I don't know. Let it be. Mm. Let it be or let it be. <laughs> Mussolini or we let, let it be. be. Uh -huh. Napoleon says Oscar. What is is the name of Italian Mussolini? Mussolini. Okay, Mussolini. So we, we're gonna do some it Italian <laughs> lessons. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, Garibaldi, Mussolini, Napoleon. Mussolini. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. And that was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Terry, what is that's not good. <laughs> okay. Napoleon. Yes, indeed. Napoleon. Okay. So we're going to be checking some more. Wow, I haven't. Um, let me see. We're going to check some examples using the passive form in the present simple. Okay. So, can you see the screenshot? The PPT? Yes. Oh. Okay, perfect. Okay, so look at this. Uh, what is the structure that we use for the passive form in the present tense? Uh, yeah, in the present tense. Yes, look at this. Well, we're going to use some uh, prepositions, right? Like by a person or with something. When we have some structures, people are eaten by zombies. Okay. So what is the negative? Can you read the negative, please, um, Oscar? People are eaten by zombies. Okay, and the question form. Roberto? Uh, which one, uh, teacher? The question the, form. Uh -huh. The question, question. Uh, are people eaten by zombies? Okay, eaten by zombies. So what do you think? <laughs> okay, uh, look at this. We have some more examples. A postman is beaten by a dog. A postman isn't beaten by a dog. Remember that the <clears throat> in this case, uh, this is not really important, but if you want, you can add it. And um, in the present uh, form, you're going to use to be depending on the subject that you have. For example, are if you have a plural, and is if you have a singular, yes, form, singular subject, right? Then the participle form, and then you add the by, right? A postman is beaten by a dog. A postman isn't beaten by a dog. But let's not talk a lot about it. <laughs> and the question form, is a postman beaten by a dog? Okay, remember you invert the object, I mean the verb to be. And you place that at the beginning. Is a postman beaten by a dog? 
Okay, so you can take a screenshot. So you may have that or you may save that or take some notes, okay? Okay. The same case. Zombies eat people. So that's our active sentence. So we need to move that. People, what? Complete that. Zombies eat people. Passive form. You have seen that already. In the present tense. Zombies eat people. Uh huh. Are eaten. People are. Uh huh. People eaten. are eaten by. By. Zombies. 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 Okay. Nice. Perfect. Okay, so now, uh, can you convert that sentence? A dog bites a postman. Um, a postman. No. He's bitten by a dog. Okay. A postman is bitten by a dog. By a dog. Okay, by a cat. <laughs> okay, so do you have this structure clear? Is it clear? Do you have any yeah. question about the present passive form? No. No? Okay, so let's uh, have a look. We have some examples. Mr. Jones watches the film. So what do you think? Help me converting these active sentences into passive sentences. In the, the first and simple. Uh -huh. I guess the film. Okay, the film. The film. Word what? Ah, simple present passive form is. Okay. Watching. What is the Watch. Watched. Okay. Uh, watch. By Mr. Jones. By Mr. Jones. Okay. Second example. Volunteer. People speak English. English is spoken by people. Okay, so do we need to add um, people again? By people, is that important or necessary? What do you Not think? Not necessary. Not really. Not really, right? So English is spoken, okay? Well, you can do it, right? That's not important. We play volleyball. Mm -hmm. I help you, okay? Volleyball. Are playing. Play it. We play volleyball. Volleyball. Verb to be simple present. Okay. He's Question. Is playing. Play. Is playing. Is. Oh, Late by then is by late by by then by them mm, by then are you sure by uh huh us oh. us oh. okay volleyball is played he reads comics 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 are read. Are past participle ready? Really, Are you sure? Okay, read. let's see. Um, read, reading, read. What do you think? What is the correct pronunciation? Comics, yeah, really. Are read, are read. Red, uh, like, red. The color, huh? like the color, or red. Okay. She does her homework. 
She does her homework. homework. Her homework. Is. Is. Participle for the verb do. Do. The. Done. Done. Okay. Okay, her homework is done. John writes text messages. John, uh -huh. text, text John. messages, text messages okay. was written was. by John. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at this. Uh, we're aiming at uh, creating examples with the um, passive form in the present tense. So it means that you're you're going to use um is are right text messages yes are. Uh -huh. Written. Uh -huh. By John. Are written by, by John. 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 Okay, John. No. Let's see. Seven. I take photos. Photos were taken by me. Uh -huh. Photos are taken. Okay, so in this case, I think that's not really necessary to mention that. Well, if you know, right? If you don't want to mention that as well. Photos are taken. Okay, policemen help children. It's really hot, right? <laughs> policemen help yes. children. 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 Uh huh? Was helped. Mm hmm. Present tense, present passive form. Are help. Are help. Helped. Okay. Mother uh, waters flowers. And let's say my mother waters the flowers. So what could be the um, passive form? In a present passive form. What is the object? What is the object of your sentence? Mother waters flowers. Hello. Mm -hmm. Flowers. Okay, nice. Remember, the object of your active sentence becomes the subject of your passive sentence flowers is or are are what do we mean with the beer water what does it mean when we say water what does it mean what's the meaning what is a translation for water as a verb Jenny says regar. Regar, okay. Flowers are. So, what is the participle form for water? Flowers are. Water by mother. Okay. Water. Could you spell that, please? Could you spell that, please? W. W. Mm -hmm. W T. Okay. Yes. W A A T E mm -hmm. R. And how about the rest? Uh, e D. E D. Okay. Flowers uh, are watered. Watered. Okay. Authors write books. You have a clue. You have a clue. Books are are written. Writing. Writing. By our 
Okay, by offers. By offers. Okay, a teacher gives a lesson. Gives a lesson. A lesson is. A lesson. A lesson is. Is. Okay. Mm. Look for the participle form. Look for the give, participle form. Give given. 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 Okay. Given. A lesson is given. Given. By a teacher. By a teacher. By a teacher. Okay. And the last one, they pay him a lot of money. A lot of money. A lot of money. Okay, a lot of money. Was paid. Uh, uh -huh. A lot of money. Uh, remember, we're using simple present. A lot of money is. Is. Paid. 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 Huh? Played by the teacher. The, the correct pronunciation is played. Paid. Paid. The participle paid. form? Paid. 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 A lot of money is paid to, to him. Okay, a lot of money is paid to him. Okay, let's see. Well, I think we just have some uh, minutes. And just to finish, I'm going to play, uh, uh, well, I'm going to play a, a short conversation. Um, I don't know. Do you take a picture of that examples? Yes. May I switch the screen? Let me know. Hello, hello. Yes, guys? Yes. Okay. Okay, so we're going to conclude with one more exercise. Just let me share that again. And I think that we continue tomorrow with a conversation using these um passive forms, right? Okay. Teacher. Uh, yes, tell me, please. Do, do you share in WhatsApp the that's a example? Which one? Yeah. Ah, sure. if I if I send you the examples, yes. Mm, no, I haven't, but I can send you some. I'm gonna send you the screenshot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna send you one screenshot. Okay, so don't worry about it. Yes, teacher, please. Okay. Um. Let me see. Well, I think we don't have enough time. Wow. <laughs> and well, le voy a quedar de bien. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I didn't feel the time. Um, I'm gonna pass the attendance list because I have another class. Uh, Benjamin Alejandro Quijada Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Okay. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Hello. Present. Thank you. 
Elisa Arely Lopez Campos. I'm here, Miss. Thank you, Elisa Arely. Nice. Giselle Marie Hernandez Torres. Present teacher. Excellent. Janet Carolina Rivera. Janet Carolina Rivera. In the chat says present. Okay, thank you. Jose Lino Alvarenga Gomez. Present. Thank you. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Velar. Present teacher. Okay. And Karen Yvette Villanueva. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. In the chat. Oh, okay. okay, thank you. Thanks a lot. Michelle Beatriz Diaz Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you. Neftali Antonio Mejia Miranda. Present teacher. Thanks, Neftali. Oscar Alexander Santana. Present teacher. Thanks. Um, Roberto Eduardo Escamilla Garcia. Uh, present teacher. Thanks. Okay. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Selma Yamilet Peña Flores. Present. Thank you. Wendy Cecilia Molina Rosales. Present. Thank you. And Jenny Carolina Ardón Cruz. Present teacher. Jenny. Okay. So we have full house. Okay, so well, um, falta yo. Bien. Marlene. Marlene, no la mencioné, Marlene. Uh, no. Okay. Sorry, Marlene. Marlene. Sorry, uh, it happens. <laughs> it happens. Okay, well, it, it was a pleasure to share with you. We continue tomorrow. Uh, we have just a, a couple of seconds and we're gonna check the platforms. And um, I think you have some activities to uh, work on the platform. Um, so I recommend you to start working on these activities. Okay, and after watching some videos, Please uh, leave your examples in this box, okay? So now, have you done that? Okay, listen. We're gonna play a conversation. I think we have some, um, well, one minute. But our uh, recommendation is to complete the activities after you watched the videos, okay? Okay, ready to listen to the conversation? This time we listen to two people asking and giving information. They do so by using passive voice, but this time in simple present. Try to identify the sentences. I will underline them for you as soon as the conversation is over. Conversation. I need some information. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union? I think the euro is used in most of the EU. Oh, right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Huh? Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. Were you able to do it before I did? Nice. Now I want you to answer the following question. What three things does the man ask about the European Union? Write your answers on our discussion box. Okay, so the activity that you have to complete is that you have to watch the video again and listen to the conversation and then you leave your exam, well, the answers to the questions 
Okay, so that's all for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this class and we'll see you in our next class. That's going to be tomorrow, okay? Thanks a lot, guys. See you tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow. Good, night, Good night, teacher. Bye.